Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a painting on cells, so I thought I would take this opportunity to give you some information from my experience that I've gathered in the past year and a half, uh, the knowledge I've gained from other artists and from practice. I think that there's a lot of information out there that might be misleading, and uh, I've been asked so many questions, I have a few notes here to make sure I don't forget anything. So I just want to let you guys know more about cells. All right, so first off, how do cells appear? I've been asked that a zillion times. Now, the cells appear because of the movement of the paints into each other. They intertwine and the heaviest color seeps to the bottom, the lightest one stays on top. So that's how the cells appear. It's as simple as that. There has to be a movement of paints together. Now, what you need to create cells. You need paint and water to dilute it. That's it. Now, I think that I, um, I've been lucky because when I started out, the two brands that I started using together created cells easily. Now, why is this? Why do Artist Loft and Americana together create cells better than other brands? Because I believe every brand of paint is made with different ingredients. So they all have their different chemicals together. So cells appear because of the thicker and the lighter paint, but it's also a chemical reaction. So the chemicals from this paint and the chemicals from that paint together aid in the creation of cells. Now, like I said, I was lucky to start off with these paints. I've been practicing so much and to create cells using just paint and water takes a lot of practice. So I'm, I'm talking hundreds. I've done hundreds of paintings, you guys, okay? Now, there are other ways to get cells. Like I said, it's a chemical reaction. If you live somewhere, which is not in Canada or, or the United States, then you might not be able to get the Artist Loft brand and you want to create cells. So what do you do? You add something else. There's all kinds of different additives that you can use to create these cells. Some people use silicone, dimethicon, if I said that properly. Um, you can use alcohol. All these things just create another chemical reaction aiding in the appearing of the cells. So that is it for the explanation. Now to answer a few questions and uh, theories that I've read, pouring medium, does pouring medium have to do with cells? Now, for me, the reason I add pouring medium into my colors is because I use cheap paint. Now, when you're using cheap paint, the more, add, the more water you add to it, the more the pigments break apart. So the pouring medium aids in the pigments staying bound. It's like a, a binding agent. So I add the pouring medium at the beginning of my process. I only put a few drops, that's really all you need. I mix that in properly and then I dilute with the water. I don't think that the pouring medium has anything to do with the creation of cells. Although, it is an extra chemical that is added. So, you know, maybe that's not 100% true. Like I'm saying, for me, the pouring medium, I don't use it to create the cells. I use it to help the pigments stay bound. Now, does it matter if it's hot where you are? I don't think, I'm pretty sure, temperature has nothing to do with cells. Like, I live in Montreal, it's either freaking freezing or you're dying from heat. There's rarely an in-between. So I've made paintings when it was like 32 degrees in my art room and cells appear anyways. That it has nothing to do, the temperature has nothing to do with the cells creating. All right, tap water versus distilled water. I use tap water. Um, I have, I don't think that using distilled water changes anything at all, because like I said, I've always used tap water. But then again, 
not all our tap waters are the same depending on where you live. So maybe if you live somewhere where your tap water has more, I don't know what in it, that it's not as uh, healthy to drink or listen, I don't know how to explain this, but maybe your tap water isn't as good as mine, so you could use distilled water. But it's, it's not the point. All you need is water. So there's my go on that. Um, do you have to have a transparent and opaque paint to get cells? Um, absolutely not. You can get cells with any color of paint. The opaque and the transparent together, it doesn't change anything. They, that's, it's kind of meaningless. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. If you have more questions, uh, sorry for that little lapse of time there, but I think, I think I've went uh, through every uh, detail from questions that I've been asked before. And I hope this helps you guys out. Like I said, if you're not able to get cells with just paint and water, oh my god, that is fine. Just, you know, use another chemical, add it in, and bang, there you go. <laughs> so, my painting today will be using, I'm just going to put this down to show you. Alright, so I'm using Terra Coral. Red Violet and Wedgwood Blue. I'm also using the white from Artist Loft. I've added about three, four drops of pouring medium into every color here and the same thing for my white and then I diluted with water. All right, so here I go. Alright guys, so I forgot to say I'm working on a 24 by uh, 18 canvas that I have done absolutely nothing to. So I will not be putting my finger through today. I'm, I'm really liking uh, that way of working lately where I don't put my finger through. I like how the paint separates. When you do four circles like that, how the paint ends up. I've done a few like that lately and I really like it. All right, so I will be back in a few to show you guys the result, all right? Bye.
All right, guys, so I'm back, and this is about one hour later. I waited because I knew that with that white there, it would change a lot. You can see how the artist loft is the key to cells. I'm not saying that other brands don't work. I'm just saying that this one works so well. I'm really loving all of these effects. And you can see that um, beige-ish color there. I forgot what it's called how it reacts a lot like the coral bush, which is a similar color I've used in other paintings. Those earthy colors react very differently. Check out this area here. Isn't that cool? So much happened there. I'm really liking that area too. You guys are going to see a pic on Instagram of that area right there. That's for sure. All right. So I hope you guys like this and that you learned something today and that you'll continue sharing my experiments with me, letting me know what you think. All right. Bye guys.